Hey guys, welcome to the Rainforest Pyramid inside Moody Gardens here in Houston, Texas. The bio dude is beyond ecstatic to be able to work with them to help them redo one of their exhibits here in the rainforest area and check out this Just tree. Growing Just growing up all the way to the top. In another like 20 years, this tree is gonna outgrow this pyramid. Then, then what do you do, right? So today, what we're going to be doing here at Moody Gardens, besides looking at all these beautiful birds and all of the wildlife here in the rainforest exhibit, we are going to be helping Moody Gardens work with their bumblebee toads. Okay, so as you can see right here, we're going to get started. So this is a large lava rock or pumice rock that I hand carved. So essentially what I did is I took a drill that was three quarters of an inch and I drilled a hole through the top and the back so that way I could put a half of an inch tubing in there that's clear and then I went and took a chisel and carved a waterfall out of there and as you can see I have a dam that holds the pump in the back so we're gonna go ahead and add water and we're gonna figure out where the land area is gonna be versus the water area as you guys know bumblebee toads like to have a good amount of water so now we're going to add in our rocks and some of the terraflora substrate. So as we're adding the terraflora substrate on top, we are going to make sure that the substrate does not get into the water and make sure that it stays moving like we want. To help combat substrate going into the water, we're going to be placing lots of moss near the water edges to ensure that it can't get knocked or kicked into the water, which I think is going to look really, really nice. After adding some ghost wood and some other really good pieces, such as the cork bark, and uh, as you can see, we put the cork bark over the trap in the back, so all they have to do is pull it out, as well as the different dragon stone here, creating the water ledges. Now, it's really important that the toads are able to get in and out of the water. The last thing we want is for them to drown, but we also need to have the water be deep enough, as well as clean, to be able to promote breeding, which is what Moody Gardens wants to do, which that's why BioDude is here to help, as well as multi different layers of ghost wood to help ensure that it gives us multiple areas to climb and call. Now let's get looking at the plants here. Now, the plants, this is going to be the best part. We bought a bunch of bromeliads. We bought a beautiful selaginella, an oak leaf creeping fig, a creeping jenny, which that's actually a Texas native plant, which as I know is going to grow beautifully in this enclosure. Uh, this enclosure, I believe, is about 30 gallons, if not a little bit bigger. And then we have a whole nice mix of tropicals over here, which... I'm really excited to pick out here and see what I'm going to be able to grab. We have some calathea, some peperomia, some begonias. I mean, as you can see here, we're pulling out that beautiful peperomia, which is just going to be amazing. That is a banana plant that we got from Chase at Houston Frogs. And then as you can see, we have a jewel orchid right there, as well as uh, different types of calatheas. That is a painted rose calathea and of course a rattlesnake plant and then this big aglonymia. And that's going to be one of our main pieces in this enclosure because I know it is going to look stunning in here. Especially when actuated with our really beautiful show grade moss. As you can see we offer this moss here at the BioDude Houston. So we got all the plants and stuff put in here. As you can see we spread it around. Uh, we wanted to put that back corner to be as open and accessible as possible in the event that we have to do the drain. You can also see here that we have some aquatic plants, which turned out great. So we're going to take a little bit of a break, and I really wanted to show you one of the inhabitants. So I have a soft spot for prehensile tail skinks, i.e. monkey tail skinks. Now, these are an amazing species of reptile. If you guys have ever kept them before, 
They are not cheap to keep, to buy, or to maintain proper husbandry standards. Uh, essentially with these guys, they are from the Solomon Islands, so they have really unique, you know, evolutionary niches and adaptations. One of the things that makes them unique, different from other reptiles, is a couple things. Number one, uh, for one thing, they breed for life. So pairs will actually bond, and when they give birth to the live young, that they will raise that baby themselves for a long time until that baby grows into a sub-adult that is big enough to be able to leave its troop and go find its own little soulmate. Um, they also rely on calcium oxalate crystals, which is found in different types of plants. So plants such as Shephalera and Pothos are absolutely necessary to keep in your vivarium when keeping monkey tail skinks, mainly just because it's not really something that you can just supplement like you can with calcium or uh, vitamins or things like that. So it's really important that you provide those things for these guys. And you can see he's out here looking. You can see the pothos has been eaten, nipped apart, and you can just see the stems of leaves missing. And we continue to eat and go nom nom nom. So again, I was just really excited to show you guys, you know, this prehensile tail skink because I came in here and I, I spent probably close to 15 minutes just watching him go ham on the pothos. All right, now here is our completely finished tank. So we were very lucky to have some already established aquatic substrate and plants, which Moody Gardens, Gardens provided us. We mounted some of those uh, aquatic plants on the waterfall as well as put them in the water area. We put in some beautiful begonias, bromeliads, creeping jenny, peperomias, uh, aglonimias throughout the entire enclosure. You can see that we are now starting to introduce the bumblebee toads. Now, what was absolutely amazing about this is that when, when they introduced the toads, they actually bred for them three days later which was absolutely amazing because they have been trying to breed this species, our curator told us, for an extremely long time. And BioDude comes in there, we get them set up with, with, with our products and, you know, the way that they like to be set up. And, you know, they get results. And that's what we wanted. You know, it's a big, it's a big win for Moody Gardens, it's a big win for BioDude, and we were absolutely thrilled to take part in building this exhibit for Moody Gardens, these bumblebee toads, and to give them a badass terrarium. I really hope you guys enjoyed my video. I apologize about the voiceover. It did take a little bit of editing on our end, but overall, I think it turned out great. I really appreciate everybody's support. Feel free to check us out on social media and to like and subscribe, the dude abides.